it's 10 a.m. on a Monday and I had to stay home from work because on Saturday night when I was taking a shower, I tried to like crick my neck and it, I kind of sprained it so it, um, I wasn't able to turn it. And then I woke up at, um, so Sunday it hurt like the whole day and like my left shoulder back area was hurting really bad and then <clears throat> this morning monday i woke up at like 5 40 so i put on these nails and i don't know how to put on well putting on contacts is the easy part uh, i woke up at like 5 40 in horrible 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 shooting pain up the back of my neck and spine or i guess your neck is your spine and basically like that area of my body is in so much pain right now, like I can't move it and like it hurts to, you know, lift my arm and stuff. So that I have to like, what did I even do? I got up to get water. I got up to refill my water bottle because I knew I was going to lay on the floor. So I got up off my bed, grabbed a flatter pillow and my blankets and I just laid on the floor with a heat pad. My mom has a shoulder heat pad for her, um, she has a cold shoulder thing. Um, and then I went back to sleep. And now, and then like, at eight, oh, I emailed my uh, supervisor at like six. And then, uh, I, my mom was awake at like eight forty or something, because I heard, um, I thought I heard someone making coffee at 6 or 7 a.m., but I think I imagined it. Um, yeah, that hurts really bad. Like, right now it's this. Yesterday it was here. Like, that hurts this area right here. I'm hoping, um, made an appointment with a chiropractor. The online thing said they opened at 10, but they, they were open at 9. Um, I called one guy, which was like, a minute closer and he was like I got 3 30 and then I called the other place and they were like are you Catherine and I'm like have I been here before and they're like probably and they were like we got 11 o'clock and so it's a uh, 10 15 right now um yeah it's awful and I'm gonna switch to a different tank top but I'm gonna wear a tank top so they can access my back without me having to take off my shirt or anything um I was asking people about acupuncturist versus chiropractor and um, my friend's dad is a chiropractor and he told us that an acupuncturist is for temporary basically it's like taking pain pills um a chiropractor is for long-term healing kind of like a pt um so i'm doing that and my mom was like oh they're probably gonna do gua sha on you to like get all your fluids and stuff i was like whatever works um I am not going with my general practitioner doctor because through my HMO or whatever it's called, you have to go to your main doctor. They're going to look at you. Um, they don't have a specialty because they're a general practitioner. And then they'll recommend you to someone that's in the network. And then you have to get approved by your insurance. And then after that approval, you have to go and then um, you have to make an appointment and then you have to go. I don't know how long that could take. I definitely don't think I could see anyone today, so I'm just um, going to a car doctor now. Today. So, <laughs> I did my night routine the other day. Morning, still using the first aid beauty thingy. Got a swipey swipe. Um, toner, I use this bottle, but it's actually the Target one, the cucumber one. I'm almost out, and I bought a regular one. It's not as a spray. It smells really good, and I like it more, but I want to finish the cucumber one up first. And I might just um, use the baby bottle for uh, traveling. And then, I don't know what anything does. I do vitamin C, because my sister says to. And then... Um, I just put on this, which is new. Oh, it's a 
first time using like I don't I haven't used this until I got it recently and then this is also vitamin C but this is a serum or something I don't know it's like they both say serum but this one is like watery and this one is like straight up oil um I like it because I have really bad acne right now and um it helps me out and then of course the leaf eye balm eye cream and then I put a lot of sunscreen on I use sunscreen on my face and my arms and my hands all the time that's that's like a really routine I noticed that a lot of guys that I know when they apply sunscreen they'll do like or like on their face and they just rub it as if it's one plane. My mom told me to do sections. You do your forehead, you do your nose and cheeks, and then you do like your chin section. And like, my mom always said to not, um, what do you say? What do you call it? Don't rub down. And I know this lately I've been doing this a lot, which is like, it's probably because my skin's already loose. Most people's are. So like, <laughs> it's making my skin loose. But that's okay. Each. It makes sense. So I use SP. I use this, and I usually do SP at fifty on my left arm because I'm driving. And these are just like the bottles that I've been using forever that I apply to my arms instead of my face. Um, because the face I use the brand new bottle, um, <coughs> and then the fifty-five I use on my other arm because I can only get one squeeze out of this a day. But uh, my mom is taking me today, so I should probably have applied it opposite ways. And it depends on my shirt that I'm wearing. I apply it to my cleavage and my neck. I take off all my bracelets and stuff. But like you can kind of tell that my arms are darker color than my um my hands are darker color than my arms. So I'm just chugging water and uh, just brush my teeth. I'm hoping I feel better tomorrow. My uh, my supervisor, she said, I hope to keep you in my prayers or something silly like that. Which is nice, but like, as someone who's very, don't believe in prayers and stuff, like sure, keep your positive day where you want to keep it, but I had people in high school who would spread that stuff to me. And like, there's the good kind of religion where you're like, all you want to do is good. You're not trying to like, make someone else exactly like you. And then there's like, well that's the bad religion. Um, where you judge people and stuff. Um, I like the first one. And I'm using this too. I got this at, um, it's called like the cosmetic store at, um, Ontario Outlet. They sell stuff at like, 70% off normal price for retail msrp this is the smashbox halo it is so cool and this is like the shade fair that's the lightest color i could find there and then you twist it if your hands were by the way you these things are like little shavers um like on a cheese grater and then you twist it and it comes out and it fell immediately but like here's the side piece and I'm using like a dense brush to like pick it up because I get really shiny. Um, it doesn't, it absorbs, it makes me less shiny for sure because I like I'm using mirror so I can see like the reflections on my skin. But it doesn't stay and I get greasy again after a few hours. Um, my preference, which I I don't know if I have one here. Um, let me go look for it. It was not in the first place I looked, but my backup one was in the first place I looked there. Um, it's the Innisfree. It's like the white powder, Jeju, blah blah blah. It says Korean on the back. Where did my sister buy this? So <clears throat> I went to Korea with my sister and my mom. My sister was uh, teaching abroad, and then she told me when we went.
got into Innisfree, like, the girls there swear by it, and it's like a matte, like, no filter look. Makes your, like, skin poreless. Um, it has a puff I never use, and it has a, um, plastic thing. So whenever I use it, I just remove this, put it in the lid, and then use a brush. <clears throat> and it's just plain powder. I guess it's like setting powder. Which I really started using in the last, um, months, half year, I guess. Um, you know, like, those beauty boxes, like, uh, Ipsy and the other ones. They give you a lot of <laughs> setting powder, and I've been going through them. This Tarte one is really good. It's all gone. There's a Smashbox one that I have as well. I don't know. I really like the Tarte one. Is this Smashbox? No, it's Naked Cosmetics. I don't, I don't really like it. I'm like, okay, I kind of like, I don't remember. The holes, I, it's either too much or too little. <laughs> I don't really like that. Um, that's how I get ready in the morning. It takes less than 10 minutes. Or actually, it takes about 10 minutes because I cut out the brushing my teeth part. Um, so I'm home now, um, uh, that appointment took an hour, 45 minutes almost, a little less, almost an hour, between an hour and a half and an hour 45, and I'm in a t-shirt now because it's more comfortable, um, it only cost $45, it's, and then the, the, the really nice, the front desk woman, she said, Oh, it's only $35 next time, so it's like $10 for a consultation and $35 for everything else. Uh, he asked me a bunch of questions about how I was feeling, and then he did a like an examination. He did like that and like see how far I could go, and this, and how far I could go. You could see like I could go way more this way versus this, this way, like the degree of angle. Like this one is... And the, I can't even, I can't put my head back at all. Like, it, it's so painful. Um, and then he was feeling my shoulders and like, this one's all like, like hard, like the muscles rock. And he could feel like the ligament or whatever, like the little tube thingy, that like tendon or whatever. You could, he could feel that moving in there. But and like, mine's always like that. And then he brought me to a different room and there was this like rolly table with like a that's like it, it had like a dent in the middle and there were rollies that were like and then it just you it moved up and down on it. It felt so good and it was like heating through the rollies. It just felt like a back massage from like a roller. It felt so good, especially because I have a poor lower back in general. It felt so good. Um, I don't think that helped loose- that didn't help loosen it. It felt good at first, but it stopped- oh, like, I'm doing this because I could feel, like, this part is, like, stuck, so I'm trying to, like, gently, like, stretch it open, just, like, as far as I can go, plus, like, a little more. And then after that, he put me on another table and it was face down, and, like, I kept trying to, like, get my face through the crack because it was, like, only this big. Like, my contacts were, like, getting squished in my face. And then... He put the um, contact pads on my shoulders and put electricity. It was so weird. It felt like I was being like, like jabbed <laughs> when it first started, and then it tickled when it was just like, zzz. and then after a while it went back to just like normal buzzies. Like that was when he was setting up like the intensity and such. And then that he also put a heat pad on top of that, which is super nice. And then. After that, he, he used some, like, cooling mint oil and, like, lotion or cream and, like, kneaded it out a little bit more. And I think he said there was some difference. Um, and he's like, this is, the, like, all the treatments I can do today. It's been a lot. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, just, like, do, like, each direction. You know, go right, go left, go front, go back, and do, like, stretches, next stretches. Like, basically, like, what you can do. And then with your hand, a little bit more, just a little bit more. Just to like stretch it out and they're called like static stretches extensions or something this is like don't it's like you're not like you're not pulsing basically like you just want to hold it there and let it do its thing get used to it and hold it and then i came home and i had some leftover curry pizza and some of it tasted really bitter 
I wouldn't recommend eating pizza after the third day if you've been leaving it out on the counter. So, um, that's my update. And I asked my supervisor if I could take tomorrow off as well.